Hey everyone, so I want to show you in this video how awesome and how easy it is to sell your toy photography and have a booth at a local convention, kind of like I'm doing right now. So having a booth at a convention, at a con is so cool and it's actually a lot easier than you think and it's a really amazing experience if you're a toy photographer, if you're an artist, no matter what you are, you get to meet people and show off your work and then also make a little bit of cash. The best part really is to just talk to people and show them your work and show them, just talk to people about it and just get their reactions, meet people, it's great, it's really awesome. The best thing I recommend, I'm sure if you have some type of local convention near you, the best thing to do, go on their website, and if you go into some kind of contact section, there's gotta be some type of vendor application, guest application, something like that. You might have to pay a little bit as like an app application fee or entry fee or something, but it'll be worth it in the end. Even if you don't make the amount of money, it's worth the experience for sure. So just go on a local website, hit contact, see what you can find, and I'm sure you'll be able to get a table like mine. And it's really, really easy. I also wanna walk you through what my booth is like, what kind of stuff I have to sell, what I charge, I guess, and also where I get everything too. So then you can be prepped for when you have one of these as well. So here's my booth. I got all kinds of stuff going on right here. I mean, this is actually the first time I've had it with this setup and I actually really like it. I think it looks really cool. So the first off here, my little banner says Sir Dork Toy Photography. This is the first time I've used this because a lot of people would walk by my booth at previous cons and not really know that these pictures that I have are toys and toy photography. So I put this here as like kind of a reference so people can see that and then they're like, oh, these are toys, that's a camera, these are photos. You know, because people are usually just walking by and they might not make that connection right away. So that's why I got that. And so all of the banners that I've got here, this banner, this one, I get pretty much all the stuff I get on a website called Cenalite.com. It's a wholesale website for printing stuff. It's really amazing. You sign up as a business and you can pretty much just get all of this stuff for a really great wholesale price in bulk amounts, which is really awesome. So this is from Cenalite.com. This banner right here is also from Cenalite.com. It's very old, I got it a few years back, so it's a little dated, but it still works. I love it. What I'm selling is I have three different kinds of prints. I have these poster size prints, which are pretty big. They're like 17 by 26, or no, they're bigger than that. I'll put it down, I'll put the dimensions down below, but these are like full size posters. Those are from Cenalite.com. I get them in batches of like 25 for only like maybe $18 or something for all of these. It's really, really great. I'm selling them for $20 right here for one of these posters. So awesome, really awesome. And then I have the next size prints, which are these medium size 18 by 20 prints. <clears throat> and I've kind of built these up throughout the years. I have a little portfolio to walk through. People can see what they want. Hopefully they would want something and buy it. I mean, if not, that's still cool. And so these are 18 by 20. Those are also from Cenalite.com. I'm selling these for uh, 10 bucks a piece. And I have, usually we'll do like a deal or something like three for 20 or something like that. So yeah, and then these are also from Cenalite.com. These are like postcards, but I printed them out to look like four by six prints. It even says Sirdork.com right there. So that's really cool. Also from Cenalite.com. And so I also have stickers. These stickers are actually from Sticker Mule. Stickers are a bit more expensive to print, so I'm charging these for five bucks a piece. Also for five for 20. So these are really cool, and I, I like the circle size. I thought those were cool. Um, so I'm doing stickers. Those are from Sticker Mule, though. And the more you get from Sticker Mule, the cheaper they end up being per sticker, which is pretty cool. So the more you get, the better deal you get. And also this portfolio that I'm using, I got on Amazon. I'll have this link below, too. It's really great. I have, like five or six prints stacked in here. So if somebody wants it, pull it right out, pack it up and it's theirs. Also really important thing are business cards. These are my Sir Dork business cards. Cool, right? These I also bought on Cena Light. You can get like a thousand of these for $10. Both sides, you know, I got my email, social media, sirdork.com, all that stuff. And just give these to everybody. Give these to every single person. You never know, you could give it to somebody that you know, it's super important and they need a photography job or something, or somebody could just go and follow you. So that's really cool. And of course I have, you know, just some little physical representations. I got my guy, my trooper guy, and I got my camera there. Obviously keep a close eye on that to make sure nobody steals it or anything, but I like to keep that there just cause um, it's cool. And so I'm also selling t-shirts. So this is my new t-shirt design. 
This is the Shoot Toys design. I'm wearing one right now as well. And so this is just basically from my logo that I made. I made this design and this is based off of the logo from here, my original Sirdor design, which I did make with just this trooper. It was a toy photo that I edited to create the design. And I have one shirt left of these, so who knows, maybe someone will take the last one. And I had a couple leftover Toys in Action shirts from the convention. So I have those here too. I don't think anyone will really want one, but I have those as well, just in case, you never know. And also the t-shirts I get from a local t-shirt printing company called 518 Prints. If you do wanna have like bulk t-shirts made, I recommend making a design with minimal colors. So this is just gray and white. The less colors, the cheaper it will be per shirt. And I would re also recommend finding a local t-shirt printing company to do it for you. That's definitely the best way to do it. If you go online, do them one at a time, you're gonna be paying like 20 bucks a shirt and then what the heck, you know, that's awful. So uh, look for a local printing company for your shirts. And I also think it's really important if you wanna sell stuff, have, I think the price is very visible because you know, the easier it is for someone to see the price, the easier it is for someone to buy and get something, you know, like make it easy for everybody. Another thing I would also recommend is having something to store the prints in, because if someone does buy it, you don't want to just give them some floppy old piece of paper. You want to give them something that they can hold on to that can keep it safe. So I get these little thingies on Amazon. I'll put those linked in the description as well for all of the stuff, just little sleeves, really nice to have. Also, this grid that I'm using to hang stuff is from Amazon as well. I'll link this as well in the description. Also, make sure to have a really great partner in crime to help you with stuff that does really great stuff. Right, babe? Yeah. And as far as like taking people's money, I guess, um, it's, I, I have my little sack. This little sack is on my store online, by the way. <laughs> but um, I usually have you know a little bit of cash to make sure people have change. Um, but I do have a card payment thing. This is a PayPal payment one. Hey, you know this this guy right here? Yeah. Can you give me a little dance? I was just interrupted by this very nice, awesome stormtrooper. <laughs> but anyway, this is the PayPal card reader. This is the one I use. It's these are really not expensive. If you just go on PayPal and search for card readers, you'll have to make a little account thing. You get those. There's all kinds of different ones. They're really great to have. I recommend because people want to pay with cards. So that's a really great thing to have. Lots of different brands make these, but I go with PayPal. Also, another really big question with this kind of stuff is copyright and selling your toy photos on prints and stuff like that. Are you going to get caught by Disney? Are the police going to come and arrest you for selling, you know, a Star Wars picture? Well, the world is full of beautiful fan art and people selling the fan art, especially at conventions. If you were to go to any convention, you can see all types of really amazing artists selling things with recognizable characters on them. It's going to happen. I've never had an issue with it. Just keep it in mind. I do go over this whole subject in really great detail in my Make Money from Toy Photography video. I have that linked in the description. So um, keep an eye out for that for, for more information. And the most important thing is to stick around by your booth, smile, be personable, talk to everyone, be excited to talk to them, say thank you, all that good stuff. That's the best part about this is just talking with people. And you know, if you make a couple bucks, even better. Awesome. Today's Saturday for Flower City Comic Con. It goes on today and tomorrow. So I'll film a little bit. And at the end of the video, I'll let you know, I guess, how much I made and how many great experiences I had. And hopefully I'll capture a few of those on camera. So yeah, let's go.
Okay, so the convention's all over, and I recorded something at the end of the convention, but my audio completely didn't record at all, so I'm doing this right now. But anyway, the convention was amazing. I met so many awesome people, and a lot of people that were familiar with toy photography, a lot of people that were unfamiliar with toy photography, which is great. I got to introduce it to a whole lot of people, which is so awesome. I was so surprised with how many t-shirts I sold. I sold a lot of t-shirts, and the biggest seller were the 12 by 18 prints, which is really cool. So, so thanks to anyone who bought one. That's so cool. So adding up the totals with the cash and with the card transactions, it was about like $450, which is really cool. I think definitely the best convention I've ever done. But like I always say, it's more about the experience than making the cash, but it's still a nice plus, that's for sure. If you've ever sold any toy photography at a convention or anything like that, please comment. I'd love to know your experiences. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'd love to help in any way I can. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.